Yo, what up out there? I hope y'all can hear me out there. Um, first, before I start this actual video, just want to say RIP to X. You know, that was a tragedy. And it happened on my birthday. So that kind of just fucked me up. You know what I mean? To wake up to some shit like that. That, that just totally threw me off. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna get on here and, and do the whole spill or whatever, though. You know what I mean? I wasn't the biggest fan of his music. A couple joints I did like, but I respect the guy for at least trying to, you know, right some wrongs. You know, he started off being, I guess you want to say bad or made a few mistakes and was trying to, you know what I mean, turn his life around. So that's just a tragedy what happened to him, man. So RIP to that man. But anyway, Nas' album did drop. And it was just hilarious just to see all the bullshit that happened with that. You know what I mean? It came out. Uh, the stream shit. <laughs> I kind of need to leave that stream shit alone. Um, the stream was all right, you know, as far as the live stream. And it took forever for, you know, that album to actually drop. And my experience, let me tell you, man, it was fucking horrible. You know what I mean? I waited all damn night for the stream, which was bullshitting, and then I waited all fucking morning for the CD to actually drop on Apple Music till I gave up around maybe 1 o'clock in the afternoon the following day, you know what I mean, so, yeah, it was a wrap, you know what I mean, but by the time I um, looked at my phone again, it was on Apple Music, but if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen it. That, that was just horrible. And then the uh, the first experience on a live stream, the mixing of it sounded off because at first listen, um, what was that song? That fucking everything song with the dream and uh, Kanye, I was not feeling. I didn't understand where the fuck that even came from. And um, not for radio. You know what I mean? I was like, what the fuck? Excuse me. I just, was, I, I, didn't, I was like, oh, my God, what is what is going on? You know what I mean? That's just first listen. So it's like two gripes because I felt like, you know, the everything record was way too fucking long. And I'm like, all right, so when the album come out, maybe the song won't be that, you know, that long. That motherfucking song is lengthy, but I, I definitely feel like they did something to that song because the first listen from the stream, it just seemed like, the singing part of the song went on fucking forever. You dig? And it's like, damn, is Nas ever gonna rap? And I do know on one of these songs he did add an extra verse or whatever the case may be. But yeah, it was just a lot of shit with that. And, you know, Twitter was hilarious. You know, we all know the other shit that happened in Jay Z and Beyonce, that surprise album came out of left field. So Nas kind of had a, a, a weird weekend. and then they comparing Nas album to Jay album, talking about the whole beef shit, the Jay's petty, you know what I mean, for the ether situation, that's why he dropped it, and Kanye for dipping on title, all this weird ass shit. And I'm like, damn, people really got, you know what I mean, this much shit to say. What about the music? Of course niggas jumping out the window. It's classic, you know what I mean? It's like that shit is weird. It's been a minute, you know, since we had an album from Nas, which was Life Is Good, which, you know, some will say that it's a classic, some will say it's not. Um, that album does or did have a few filler tracks on it, you know what I mean? It's a good album, you know, it's damn near superb without the filler shit. And as far as this joint, it's not bad. I mean, I think people forget that before he put out the track list or after the track list, the theme of it was supposed to be the seven deadly sins, pride, envy, greed, gluttony, sloth, wrath, and lust, you know what I mean? So you pit those sins with the songs and, you know what I mean, for people that didn't really understand that part, I really didn't hear too many people actually talk about that in their review, and I was like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? But I thought that one was straight, man. Um, not for radio. I didn't. I wasn't feeling the puff shit. I was like, how long this nigga gonna do this? You know, far as I mean, I gave you from New York. You know, what I mean Harlem and all that. But it's like I don't really want to hear this nigga all over the records and shit. I wasn't really feeling that. 070 Shake did her thing. You know, what I mean, it's just basically a message for the culture. You know, what I mean, things is going on in the country right now. Um, and it's an angry record in a way. You know what I mean for everything that's happening in the world. So I thought that was pretty dope to hear that. 
uh, the Slick Rick sample, that kind of shocked me. That surprised me in a good way. I was like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I mean? Cop shot the kid off the, uh, damn, I forget the name of that Slick Rick song, but that's one of my favorite uh, songs of him. My uh, mommy used to always play when I was a kid. But yeah, um, featuring Kanye West. And arguably Kanye West has a better verse than Nas. You know what I mean? It, it, I'm just saying. Um, but this basically talking about, you know, how police is, you know, just gunning us down, doing what the fuck they want, not getting no type of jail time, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's a game or some shit, like, they literally playing GTA and we're the civilians just walking around and dating niggas that's, you know, stealing the cars and shit like that. Uh, I thought uh, Nas flow was crazy, but I actually feel like Kanye kind of probably stole, you know, the verse, good quotables in there. I fuck with your verse, man. That shit was dope. Uh, White Label, that's possibly my favorite song. Like, when I first listened to it from the stream, it seemed like the the instrumental itself with the sample is louder than Nas' vocals when it was on the stream. So I'm like, I can't really fuck with it. Like, that's, that shit sounded annoying the way it was. I mean, it's fixed a little bit. It's tweaked a little bit on the album. But the more that I listened to it and played it, because I knew the sample was fire, but I just couldn't really hear what Nas was saying. So then once I started listening, I'm like, oh, this shit is crazy. You know, a white label, most times it'd be on certain CDs, I guess it's for like promotional use. The beat was crazy. He basically just talked about his verses. You know what I mean? He wouldn't charge people, just basically a message to the youth, whatever, what have you. And I thought that was pretty dope. And um, yeah, I just feel like that's one of the standout tracks that and the next track bonjour featuring tony williams and i'm hoping this nigga do an actual video for this shit i seen he was in paris and all that and i'm like bro this nigga need to do a video like you know on some fly shit and he has some dope lines in this song you know what i mean the kids play line you know what i mean like the girl doing what she doing kids play i thought that shit was dope the hook by tony williams is dope you know what I mean? Just basically a story about himself and a chick giving great advice. Just basically stay focused. You know what I mean? Relationship advice as well. Because you end up with the worst type of bitch and you have a kid with her, your life would be fucked. Just how I saw this one nigga that's an actor or some shit, he got to hit his bitch off or ex-wife off with a hundred racks every month, which is fucking crazy. Basically, don't slip up, man. <laughs> so if you out there... And you in high school or college, man, you got a girl or you fucking with hoes, man, or women, chicks, whatever you want to call them, you dig. Make sure you protect it because you fuck around and think it's good. Talking about that shit feel like macaroni and cheese. Woo! You be out of here, nigga. Word, nigga, word. Anything, anyway, bonjour, I fuck with that. Um, everything featuring a dream and Kanye, you already know how I feel about that, man. The vocals was good. Or whatever from both these niggas The dream always is excellent I just The Kanye shit It's just like damn You could at least do some fucking auto-tune on that Cause Kanye got this thing about him Where he kinda does the little harmonizing Little singing thing he does on certain records And if he perfected it right It sounds dope This was sounding like you know Kinda lazy But I thought the Starbucks line was kinda relevant So I'm like huh I wonder when he wrote this shit um, but to me, Nas, it's, it's just about remaining true to yourself. You know what I mean? Think different. Don't really let society pressures, you know, change who you are. Because if you're unique, you're going to stay unique and do unique things. And You know what I mean? Don't be greedy. You know what I mean? Well, I thought the song was overall good without certain aspects of it. Um, Adam and Eve featuring a dream. That's dope. Um, basically about leaving your comfort zone to obtain information. Um, and Nas feels like a lot of OGs out there in the game kind of got information, but not really giving it to the youth to, you know, help them prosper and succeed, but instead giving them advice, but not telling them or showing them how to get, you know, use the tools that, that they have to get where they need to go or whatever the case may be. Um, and Nas want to just go back and just help the people and things of that nature. And I thought that was pretty dope. And in Simple Things, the last record, um, to me, he kind of took a shot at uh, Vlad on that. Remember what Vlad said? Nas picked horrible beats. Nas basically was saying, my lyrics mean more than the beat. Um, overall, great. Damn, that bitch just got shot. My bad, I'm watching um, season two of Luke Cage. That shit was crazy. 
a uh, great subject matter, you know what I mean, talking about his life, his longevity and everything like that. And, you know, certain things is simple things in life, you know what I mean, that brings happiness and peace of mind and things of that nature. But overall, man, I fuck with the album. It's only seven songs. I can't really, you know, give it a rating or whatever. I've been playing the shit out of it. Out of all the good music releases, I'll say I played this the most. You know what I mean? It's five out of five, you dig, in my personal opinion. But minus a couple things, so I'll say about, mm, to be fair, honest, about a three and a half out of five. You know what I mean? You can push it to a four, but you really don't want to go too far with that. Um, but yeah, man, overall, Nas did his thing. I was more expecting, you know, when Khaled did that joint a couple years ago, Nas album done. I kind of was like, that was the vibe I was on. So when I heard the album, I was like, damn, what would the project with Khaled? I don't know if Khaled was going executive producer album by now or whatever the case may be, but just that sound that he was on, you know, with that record, that's what I was really hyped for. And not to say this was a disappointment, you know, Kanye definitely delivered, but I just feel like that was a more... That could have been perceived better if Nas would have kind of stuck with that project, whatever that was. Because I still feel like this is something he did with Kanye, whatever, with Def Jam. But I feel like he still got something else in the tuck and the stash. And I feel like he need to give us that body of work. You know what I mean? But overall, I fuck with it, man. Nas, Nasir, very introspective album, man. So take with a grain of salt. It is what it is. But, um... A couple of joints that I fuck with Heavy on this shit White Label Bonjour um, And Adam and Eve Like I, That grew on me In the past couple of days So Yeah I would say those three records Definitely be gonna take some away A lot of people Cop shot the kill It was cool too But I really don't wanna hear all that um, Not like it's preachy It's just that Certain songs Just put me in a certain mood And I just Don't feel like being A downer Or whatever the case may be but yeah, man, Nas, Nazir. It was a dope album. My bad, I'm just still watching Luke Cage. They just, I don't want to spoil it, but goddamn, that shit crazy. But alright, y'all, man, thanks for listening, or whatever the case may be, and I'll holler at y'all, man. One.